Hi guys, Shafiq here again, your mega awesome runner. Today we're going to be showing you how you can wirelessly synchronize all your exercises from your Garmin 4 and 220 over to your Android based device. When I say wirelessly, it's actually over a Bluetooth connection. Now I'm doing it on my Samsung Galaxy S5 phone. However, the process to do this is pretty similar across all hardware, uh, all across all Android based hardware, such as, I don't know, like a HTC One or a Samsung Galaxy Tab or a Nexus, etc, etc. Um, I don't have any iOS hardware to demonstrate this with, uh, such as a, an iPad or an iPhone. However, should you wish to donate one to me, you're more than welcome to do so. Anyway, that's by the by. Uh, so how do we get started? Well, you need to have the Garmin Connect uh, mobile app installed on your Android hardware. Uh, but before we do that, you need to make sure, because this is being done over a, a Bluetooth connection, make sure that you've got Bluetooth enabled before you do so. Uh, it's not a problem if you don't have it enabled because the app will tell you to do uh, to actually have it enabled uh, when you come to pair it with the, with the watch. So, now that we've got Bluetooth enabled on this case, we're going to go to the Google Play Store and then search for Garmin Connect. Here we have Garmin Connect Mobile, and then click on Install. Say Accept to the permissions. That's going to then download. It'll only take a few moments, and then install. And that's installing now. Okay, then that's done. So I'll go back to the home screen, and in which case it should appear in this little area that I've reserved for it. It may appear in a different location on yours. And then click on the connect icon to launch the app. And then as you can see, whoops, nearly well, hit the camera there. Uh, and then you'll get, like I say, get, take you to the, the welcome screen. And then you have two choices, either create an account or sign in. Uh, if you don't have an account, just click on the, the, the first option first, agree to the terms and conditions, and then it'll ask you to enter your name, email address, username, and preferred and a password. Like I said, I've already got an account, so I'm just going to say sign in, and it'll ask me to enter my username and password, so I'm going to quickly do that. Okay, so I've, I've put my details in, then tap sign in. And then it will take you through a setup process of to sync the phone with the watch. So the first question, do you have a Garmin device to connect? Yes, we do. Select the type of, uh, of hardware, so in which case it's running and cycling. Then tap 4 and a 220 here. And now it's saying to make sure that the Garmin device is in Bluetooth pairing mode. So we'll take the watch here. We then unlock it. And then go to settings. Bluetooth and then select pair mobile device. Done that, put that back on the table and then as you can see at the bottom here of the app just hit the search for device button and then it'll say do you see the code 5673 displayed on your Garmin, Garmin device? I do see 5673. Now that code is totally random more than likely it's going to be a different code when you're syncing um, for yourselves. So we'll say yes here. And that's now in the process of uh, setting it up. You can click on the show details button to see the progress. Now this process can take some time depending if you've never synced before uh, and you've got a lot of exercises on your watch. So it's got to sync those first, uh, upload them to Garmin Connect and then the, 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 the actual pairing will then be completed. Hopefully, in my case, it shouldn't take too long because I tend to sync on a regular basis. And it's done. 4 under 220 and your Android device are now paired. We'll OK that. And that's it. That's done. So I can go back to the home and then to the dashboard. Then you can start, you know, looking at any exercises that you've done. And then, you know, you can see all relevant information, etc, etc. And that's it, that is done. So, the way it works is when you come to um, finish a, a running exercise and you want to basically sync the exercise from your watch to your phone, um, 
the way it works in my case with the S5, I just have to make sure that the phone, uh, oh sorry, that the watch is is firstly unlocked, okay, in this in, in in this way, and then make sure that Bluetooth is is turned on, and basically the watch will look for a a, a phone or a device or a, an Android based device which has the Garmin Connect installed, and it will just start syncing simultaneously. That's all you need to do. Some hardware I have known it where you have to actually go into the Garmin device, okay, and then it will then look for a uh, it will look look for the watch that way. Um, but in my case, I don't even need to do that. I just need to enable Bluetooth on my phone, make sure that the watch is unlocked, and it will just sync within a few moments. And that is pretty much it, really. Um, hope you found that useful. As you can see, the process was pretty simple. There was a bit of fear, uncertainty, and doubt by some of my friends and colleagues, but hopefully I've alleviated that. Uh, and that's it. Any questions or comments, by all means, please leave them in the comment section below this video. Until then, I'm Shafiq Khan, your mega awesome runner. I'll see you next time.